consider the graph of f of x. We want to evaluate two definite integrals. The definite integral from 0 to 5 over f of x dx and the definite integral from 3 to 8 of f of x dx. So the rule I want to use here is that if I want to take a definite integral, I'm allowed to break the region up into separate definite integrals, and then I can take the sum. So what do I mean by this? Let's take a look. So here, if we take a look at the graph, we'll notice if I want to break this up into areas where I can actually do some work with the areas, I would want to first do from 0 to 1, then 1 to 2, then 2 to 3, and then 3 to 5, because I know how to do triangles for the first two regions. I know how to do a rectangle, which is what this will be if I draw the lines in. And then I also know how to do parts of a circle. So we can break our definite integral up into four smaller definite integrals with these limits. And then I can just apply it to each one by taking the area of each region. So the first, first region is a triangle with base 1, height 1. So we have 1 half base times height. For my second triangle, I have base 1, height 2, 1 half base times height. I have a rectangle with base 1, height 2. So that's just base times height. And then I have half of a circle of radius 1. So that's just pi 1 squared divided by 2. Now I can add all these up. So I have a half plus 1 plus 2 plus pi halves. That's going to give me 7 halves plus pi halves. For the second definite integral, we're going to do the same thing, but we have a little twist. If we take a look, we have the semicircle that we had in the first part, but now I also have a triangle which lives under the graph. When I look at the second definite integral, we want to use the same trick, but now let's notice in the graph, we still have our semicircle, but I also have a triangle that's living under the x-axis. So recall, if we're going to take an area that lives under the x-axis with a definite integral, that's going to pick up a minus sign. So what we're looking at here is, I have the area of the semicircle. We already saw that that's pi halves. Here I have a triangle with height 1, height 1, and base 3. So the area is 1 half base times height, 1 half 3 times 1 but we throw a minus sign in since we live under the x-axis. So the definite integral is going to be equal to pi halves minus 3 halves.